find a bruise on a nigger? So it's not fun. It's no. not like you're really listening to their words. Because you'll key on what's the truth and what isn't. First thing, anything out of a nigger's mouth for the first five or six sentences is a fucking lie. Fight or fuck around with the police. You do what you're told. You understand, nigger? Crime 
suspects always last longer. They can get any of our unit, 38 guys, they can get one day, I can get one day. Uh, a custodian, the jailer, the sheriff's department, got uh, five days because he can beat one of the guys that they already ambushed in those people. Why? So they all start to come Immediately after we beat those guys, we went downstairs. The guard posted the back of the place, we washed our hands, we had blood all over our legs, everything was dark blue uniform, you know, and in the dark, you can't see if we get the light, it looks like somebody's red paint, and on mm-hmm. all over, we had to clean our badges off of water, and blood all over. Our face had blood on it, we had to paint all that, we checked each other, we went out, we were directing traffic, and the little chiefs and everything would come back to the trash for shot. Where are the suspects? I think some of these officers over here got them, and they took them to the station. So now nobody knows really who arrested them. We had got them through about two flights of stairs, got the first. You know, that's how they came down. That's where a lot of the people saw. You know, look out, Eric. <laughs> oh my God, look out, he's falling. I mean, you don't shoot a poison. I mean, that's all there is to it. But anyway, the point is, uh, well, they know I did it. They know that well I did it. There's nothing they do about it because we all, most of those guys were 77 together. We came into this gang unit really tight. 